Hey everyone! Today I'm showing you how to make these beautiful paper flowers. Um, they're spritzed paper flowers made with our tissue paper. And if you look, what's really fun about these is that when it gets spritzed, um, you can actually see the variegation. It makes it actually look like a real flower. Are you ready to see how to do this? Let's go! So our materials for today's project will be our fringe scissors. These guys are so much fun. Um, we'll also need our paper snips. We're going to need some sticky strip. And uh, the main product that we're going to be using is our tissue paper. Um, our tissue paper comes with four rectangular tissue pieces and eight circle pieces. And for our project today, we're going to be using two of the rectangular pieces. So we're going to go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our rectangular um, tissue paper and we're going to put a big strip of sticky strip down the length of the tissue paper. We're go all the way down and we're going to trim that off. And we're going to go ahead and peel it. Okay, so now that we have the sticky strip peeled, we're going to take our rectangular piece and we're going to fold it in half right on top of that piece of sticky strip. And then we're going to repeat the process on the same long length side that we did the first time. So we're going to put a piece of sticky strip all the way down. Caution, this stuff is really sticky. Okay, and then we're going to snip that, and we're going to go ahead and peel it again. Okay, so once you have it peeled, you're going to fold it one last time, again into the same length. And we're going to put one more piece of sticky strip on that same side. Oops. Okay. And go ahead and snip it. Okay, so before you peel the sticky strip this time, we're going to take our fringe scissors and we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut down the length of the tissue paper towards the sticky strip. Now the beautiful thing about the sticky strip is that's going to keep us from cutting all the way down the paper. We don't want to cut um, into it. The sticky strip, strip is pretty thick and it's going to keep us from being able to cut all the way through. So we're going to do this all the way down. Almost there. All right. Then we're going to peel the sticky strip off. Oops. And we are going to roll the tissue paper in. Once we get it going, then it will go pretty easily. We're going to roll it inward. Okay. All the way till we get to the end. Okay, now earlier on you heard me say that we were going to be doing uh, two of the rectangles. So I have one that I had already prepared and I am going to go right where I left off with my second flower. Okay, so I'm going to go right where I left off and continue to now roll this second one right on top of the first one. Keep rolling. 
all the way until you're done. Okay, and then we're going to fluff it up, and you're going to see we have a beautiful chrysanthemum. But now I'm going to show you the best part. Using one of our Stampin' Spritzers, I have mixed uh, some Lost Lagoon ink refill, probably about 10 or 12 drops, and filled the remainder with rubbing alcohol. Make sure you have a surface that will ca catch your color and make sure that you are pointing your spray strip towards the object that you want to color. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to spritz this flower with as much color as you would like. And then of course we're going to let it dry.